All right. So we have seen how to create our Azure communication service, how to create an email communication service, how to configure our domain and the SPF and the DKIM configuration that we have done through our domain. And we have tested how to send emails from the portal. It's time now to send emails via C Sharp. And later we are going to see how to use the SMTP protocol in order to send emails with some authentication configuration. So first of all, let's try how to send a simple email using C Sharp. So we need first to go to our communication service right here. Cool. And we need to choose the um, try email, as you can see. So let me, for example, choose the email that I have selected or the domain that I have selected. Don't reply and I will select my email and test email using C sharp. Cool. As you can see here, I have this button. I will answer my connection string and I will copy this and later I will show you where you can get this connection string. So I will copy this code. I will go here to my C sharp and uh, to my Visual studio. Sorry, this to code. Cool. And here I will remove this. Let me go to terminal, clear. And here on the left, I have C sharp with Visual Studio code. And here on the, um, on the uh, right, I have my uh, Gmail account. Cool. So let's try to understand what we have here. First of all, we have the plugins for the Azure and Azure communication email service. We have the connection string right here and we have the object of the email client, which will contain the connection string. And also we have the email message object that contain the sender address, the content, and inside the content, we have the email content. As you can see here, we have the object and we have the uh, property of the email. And also we have the recipients. We can have one or multiple recipients. All right, so let's test this. Let me hit run this. All right, and here we'll see on the right screen, we have received this email just right now. Hello world, the email, and this is test email using C Sharp. Awesome and clear. So let's see where we can uh, obtain this connection string. Let me go to the portal right here before to continue with that, as we said, we can use JavaScript and Java and Python and Curl. We have already pre-built in code that we can use. So to get this connection sync, we need to go to keys. And here we have the default endpoint. And we here, if we click on show values, we can see that we have this connection string right here. We have this key, first one, and the second one. And we can generate primary key or the secondary key. Cool. So this is where we can get this part of the connection string. So right now we are going to try something else with uh, always C Sharp and also with PowerShell. So we are going to see how to uh, use um, SMTP, okay? And uh, to go through that, we are going to do um, to need to do some advanced configuration from the authentication part. All right. So let me go right here just to show you where we can find emails. So emails here, sending email using SMTP, and it's based on two steps. So setting up SMTP authentication and later SMTP send mail samples. So if we go to the authentication part here, we need to do um, mostly two things. We need to create a custom role with the three permission from the Azure communication services and we need to create an app registration and assign to that app registration that role. And we need to create a secret inside that app registration. And we need to copy all this information. So the name of the app registration, the secret, and the name of the Azure communication service that we have created because all this information later we are going to use in order to create the connection string that will be used inside the SMTP um, configuration. So. First of all, let me go and try to create the new role. 
So here I am inside the Azure Communication Services, Access Control, and here Role. Let me clone one of the roles right here. Let me take, for example, the leader. Clone. All right, and here I will name it email for SMTP role. All right, let me keep this like that. And I don't need actually the read permission, but I will add some permission here that will be used uh, for our demo. So for that, we are going to look for Microsoft communication. Microsoft that communication. All right, this one. And we are going to look for communication services. All right, this first one. So we are going to need the um, read, which contain get list communication services and the write, which can uh, create and update communication services. And also we are going to use something else. Let me add, let me remove this. And we are going to need also, let me add those first like that. And there is a third one that I will want to add which is the um, email services. So let me look for the email. And this is it, the right one. So write email service, create or update. Cool. Next, all right, next. And email from SMTP, SMTP role and review create and create. And I will save this on my other screen. So this is the role that we have created. Cool. Now we need to create an app illustration. So let me duplicate this one. All right. And I will look for app illustration, app illustration and create a new one. So email from SMTP app and I will register this app registration. I will copy its name like that. Cool. And I will um, later, I will take this one like that and I will go right here and access control. I will add a role assignment. All right. And here I will um, look for the uh, custom role that we have created. So this one, I will look for it. This one. Cool. And here I will uh, choose the uh, app registration that I have created. Cool. We can see it right here. Next. All right. Oh, the role, this one. Okay, it is selected. And let me check. All right, and review and create. So we have added a custom role to our application in order to send and uh, write emails and also to access to Azure communication services. So let me check right here and look for that app. And as you can see here, this App registration have the role of email uh, for SMTP role, which contain these three uh, permissions. Cool. Nice. Now let's go back to our app registration here. And we also going to create a secret. So no client secret and email for SMTP secret. Let me keep it for six months add and this is the value i will copy this right here cool so we, i have gathered all uh, the information and right now we are going to use these um this uh, information there is one more information that i need which is the um the client id and the tenant id so i'll copy this one 
right here. I will save it. Client ID and the tenant ID. I will save it just on my note. All right. And right now we are going to create uh, what we say dot delimited format of this configuration. To do in order to do the SMTP, uh, SMTP authentication password, we need all this information together. So let me just go to my other screen. All right. So if you go back here, we have done all these parts of the configuration. Right now, let's go to SMTP send mail sample. And as you can see here, there is a PowerShell sample and C sharp SMTP client sample. So for that, we we need to do some configuration and let me copy this right here and go here to this screen so first of all as you can see here let me just zoom in we need to take the azure communication services here and later the enter application id and the tenant id so this is the first three uh, um, three uh, names that we need to paste them right here later here we need to paste the client secrets that we have copied and later the sender email the recipient that will receive the um, the email and like that we can test together by default the smtp url host is smtp.azircom.net and the port is 587 by default all right so first of all here azir communication service resource name i will remove this one and re replace it with the right one so Azure Communication Services. This is this is the right name. So I'm copying this, and I will paste it right here. And here we need enter application ID. So the enter application ID is this client ID, and the tenant ID that can be found also right here. All right, and like that, we have these three parameters that represent the SMTP auth username. So for the password, which is the client secret, I already copied that. Let me just take it from here. I have it on the other screen. Cool. And for the sender, we have already used the sender before, so I'll copy this from the other code that I have. So this is it. Do not reply that at I'll help you to do. Cool. And for the recipient, I will use my Gmail account for testing purposes. All right, cool. Now it's the moment of truth to test if this is working or not via SMTP. So let me take this like that. Let me remove this like that. And right now we need to test if this is will be working or not. So run this project. All right. Still running. And the email was successfully sent using SMTP, as you can see right here. And let me refresh. And as you can see right here, we have our email just received. And like that, our email have been received using the SMTP protocol. Cool. Actually, this is great. And if you have an old system using SMTP configuration, all you have to do is just configure the app registration with this permission that we have configured and the role that we have assigned it and just replace your information with this information that we have generated. You can find all the documentation about in my blog, ashrafbinalaya.com and the Azure uh, communication service email sending simplified contain all the steps that we have just done together. So from creating the service and configuring the domain and also um, co the SMTP configuration. Cool. So we have tested with C-Sharp. It's time to test with PowerShell. 
Now, if we go to PowerShell, let me get this like that. And here we have this PowerShell. So in PowerShell, for example, here we need to enter the password, our client secret. You will need always to uh, hide your application secrets. So just for demos, we are showing like that, but in um, production world, you need to use um, tools like Azure Key Vaults, for example, in order to save your um, secrets. All right, for the credential, as usual, we need to add your communication service resource name, the intra application ID, and the uh, intra ID right here, the three parameters. So I will copy this from the pre configuration that we have done together. So let me copy this. All right, and cool. So and the do not reply your domain.com also. So this is it. So the object is email to test, the subject, the SMS, SMTP server, and the credential. And this is the email that we'll be using in order to test. Cool. All right. So here we have all the configuration. Let's run this and see what will happen. And here, let me get this like that. And as you can see, here we have this email, test mail test. So this is the bed. Let me replace this test power shell. All right, test mail power shell. All right, and let's try to run this again. Let's wait right here. And here, the test mail PowerShell. Cool. So as you can see, we have tested using PowerShell, using the C Sharp, basic C Sharp, and via SMTP tool. And all this code source will be shared later. And if you are more curious, you can go to the um, Azure communication uh, in Microsoft Learn page. And here you can get the full configuration and all this code. Remember, you need to uh, add or install the plugin system dot net dot net dot mail dot SMTP client in order to work with the SMTP sample. And here we can copy also the uh, PowerShell script that was used in order to send um, to send emails via SMTP. And like that, we have seen how to use this protocol. Cool. This was the video. I hope it was easy and see you in another video.